After Mass today, we will cover all of our holy images with the violet covers. We're thinking darkness because of it. And if you were here last night, you'll remember that in the time of yesterday's saint, St. Vincent Ferrer, that very famous miracle worker, they say he worked at least a one miracle every single day. And um, including the most, the ones that would strike the most terror and fear into people to make them understand that his doctrine is true. But he said that when he lived, the world was in complete darkness. He said that it was just as bad, at least, as the days of Noah, when our, when God decided to erase mankind, except for a few people, and to start over again, fresh. They were, the priests in those days were often guilty of the, the sin of simony, the selling of, and the buying of holy things, of sacred items. And then, of course, the sin of impurity was rampant all over the world, and the heresies and, of course, the infidelity of the Jews and the Muslims was, all, was everywhere. And then many, many other sins. It was all in darkness. And our Lord sent just a glimmer of light when he sent St. Vincent de Paul to go out and preach the four last things. He was, after all, called the angel of the judgment, St. Vincent Ferrer was. Well, today we're in darkness too. The church, you might say, is in an eclipse. And although it still exists, it is not nearly as beautiful an institution, I'm speaking externally. We no longer have all of the same beautiful cathedrals or the seminaries or the convents. They were all stolen by the enemies of Christ, and the enemies of his glorious church, our Holy Mother. The world is in darkness with impurity everywhere that you turn and heresy. Well, we won't even speak about that how many souls have been destroyed, taken away from the fold of Christ because of the heretics of who follow Vatican II and who promote it as something good and glorious. And then, of course, now we have the Muslim issue coming back where they're trying to, to overrun the Western world and all of its civilization. It is a war against Christianity. The world is truly in darkness. So what? What's the remedy? Well, our Lord tells us today, I am the light of the world. He that follows me walketh not in darkness. And where, did, where will he lead us? Well, you read it in the communion verse of today's Mass. I will lead thee to green pastures. A symbol, you could take it as this, a symbol of paradise. We have to live in these times. God has, from all eternity, before the world was even created, he had you in his mind. You were one of his divine ideas from all eternity. And he said, you will live in this place at this exact time, a time when the world was perhaps worse than ever St. Vincent Ferrer would have thought it could become. But you were to be here. We're walking in darkness unless we follow the light of the world. That is, unless we follow our Lord. And where is he going? Tomorrow's Passion Sunday. And he is going to Calvary. If you And he tells us so often, that we must follow him, follow in his footsteps. And what does that mean? It means to deny oneself, to take up one's cross, to follow our Lord with courage and with fidelity. To live in this world of ours is nothing but a cross for the Christian who is sincere. There's nothing but one cross after another. There is no decent entertainment that we can look at anymore. 
There are no huge and flourishing parishes with their sedalities and their holy name societies and, and the altar societies or any of those things. We're left, the few, to fight against this world of chaos and darkness that threatens to drown us, to take our souls away from God and to hand it over to the kingdom of, of darkness, that of Satan. We have to every day realize this world is not for us, not its entertainments, not what it holds out to us as virtue, not anything. We were created, but for one thing, and that is to love God here by self-denial and by living for God alone, and then to be happy with him forever in the green pastures of paradise. So today, remember this, this fact. Meditate on it. We were not made for this world. This is a, va a veil of tears, a place of darkness. We have to follow the light. We have to learn his doctrines, follow him to Calvary, and imitate his, the virtues that he shows us on the Good Friday, the, the Passion of our Blessed Lord. And all along, never forget to stay with your Heavenly Mother. She's always with her son, and she is also, after Jesus, she is our mainstay, you might say, our pillar, our rock, upon whom we can lean for strength. Take up your beads this first Saturday and pray them fervently for all the graces and all the lights that you need to make it through this, this valley of tears and this world of utter darkness. I am the light of the world. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, amen.